Seba started as a modeling and finishing school for girls in 1947. Something I'm most proud about is the school's ability to pivot in such changing times. We offer that flexibility that only a school of this small size is capable of. We think of our students as VIPs. Hi, my name is Monica Campbell, Vice President of Community Development for Enterprise Bank & Trust. Enterprise Bank & Trust guides our clients to a lifetime of financial success and we're dedicated to helping St. Louis communities thrive. One of the programs we're most proud of is our Welcome Home St. Louis Mortgage Down Payment Program. Qualified borrowers are eligible to receive assistance with down payment and closing costs. The subsidy is subject to completion of home buyer education. Visit EnterpriseBank.com or call Community Mortgage Loan Officer Bill Bruce at area code 314-512-7220 for information on how to qualify. Enterprise Bank & Trust is an equal housing lender and member FDIC. A home is an investment for the long term, and your home's foundation is the key to protecting that investment. For wall cracks, settling, water problems, or an unsealed crawl space, call Woods Basement Systems for a solution that delivers comfort and security for years to come. Kids like these are happy and healthy because Affinia Healthcare has been their healthcare home, I guess you can say, their entire lives. Our pediatric services range from immunizations and dental care to behavior health and chronic illnesses. At Affinia Healthcare, our patients have peace of mind knowing that they'll get high quality care. Adult services are also available, as ensuring a healthy future for all our patients is what inspires us. We change lives at Affinia Healthcare, one patient at a time. Hi, my name is Dr. Xavier Tipler, co-owner at Proficient Chiropractic. Here at Proficient Chiropractic, we have a team of highly trained and professional staff and doctors that are dedicated to ensuring that each and every one of our practice members are receiving the very best in customer service as well as their care. We really specialize in taking care of the nervous system. The nervous system controls every single function of your body. Every single organ and system in your body is controlled through that nervous system. Now when there's stress or pressure on that nervous system, what we call subluxations, our job is to identify those subluxations, remove that stress off your nervous system so that your body is functioning at its best again. Come on down and check us out. We would love to take care of you. We're at 2050 Woodson Road, St. Louis, Missouri, 63114. Amanda Luck at Murphy Hopewell Center is a certified community behavioral health organization that has been serving those in North St. Louis City in need of behavioral health and substance use services. We believe in providing compassionate, holistic behavioral health services that emphasize hope, honor, dignity, and respect. If you or your loved ones need support, please contact us at 314-531-1770. My name is Christian Gray. I graduated from the Smith Jesuit High School. I go to Notre Dame University where I play football for the Fighting Irish. She let me play football when I was in fifth grade and uh, I actually, actually thought it was, it was, it was just amazing. Because uh, first day of practice, I was just destroying everybody. I was just, I was just playing like without even thought in my head like about scholarships or anything. I was just having fun. Football career was in high school was kind of hard. I was trying to get on the field as a freshman. First day of practice, it was like varsity tryouts. I went to corner one time, just one time. I was, I jammed up this this big guy. I'm like, oh yeah, that shot on everything. I was talking trash. Next thing you know, in the practice, I'm, I'm about to head home because I, I was sad too because I thought I, I didn't get on varsity, I guess. But Coach Stevens came running towards me and he said, hey, wait, 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 you think you can stay for varsity practice? And I was like, what? When uh, he told me I was going to play corner instead of our receiver, it was kind of a heartbreak, but then I was like, maybe this is where I'm best at. By that, by the end of freshman year, we won state. But my junior year, I was just being a freak out there. I was going crazy because I, I had no no fear at all because uh, I trained really hard and everything else. I 
um, let me show it on the field. Like, let me show you what these offers, what four star is and everything else. I was, I was just turning up and uh, that was just a great year. Is this our quarterback throwing the picks? The feeling of getting the, the interception <laughs> is so, it's so great. Like uh, my last game against Lee Summer North, I got an interception, man. It was great after I like picked the ball off. He tried to tackle me, stiffed arm off, then ran to the sideline. He just throw that ball down until everybody, you're him, I'm, I'm him, I'm him. Like my most memorable play it was against East St. Louis, my first ever kick return in my high school career. It was crazy because I was blacked out that whole entire game. Like against Luther Burden and everybody else, I was just, I didn't think about nobody else except the whole entire Luther Burden and East St. Louis. They had this uh, running back kicking. So he kicked the ball straight toward me, and that was not the plan at all for them to do that because knowing me, like they know who I am, they know how fast I am. So they said, don't kick the ball to me, don't kick the ball to me. They kicked the ball towards me. <laughs> I saw the most tiniest hole, and I slipped right past them and then just, just gone. My mama support. <laughs> Man, it, it goes crazy. It's just, it's like she, she, uh, she flew me out to USC. She, uh, she flew me out to LSU. She flew me out to almost everywhere, 707, football, everything. She, all she did was support me, and um, I appreciate that with, with all my heart, really. You know, that's why I'm gonna buy her that then. She always wanted. So the coaches used to tell me that he was special. I'm like, yeah, he's special. But until I start seeing him grow. You know, like, he's still my kid. Like, yeah, let me see him. So I start watching him progress. And then I start watching him really compete. But I also watched his work at how hard he worked, how hard he put his school schedule in place so he can actually go to training. And he was doing um, DB training and wide receiver training, so he was doing both. And then I watched him and I was like, um, you're very, you're analyzing to feel like you are really good. And it wasn't until, I want to say, two summers ago. Well, actually last summer. And I finally looked and watched my son play um, seven on seven. And I'm like, you're him. Like you, you are that kid. Like you, you're really good. And I finally told him, I was like, you are really, like not as a mom, like you are really good. Like I would, I would pay to come and see you play because <laughs> you are really good. And just his personality alone. So it's not just the football skills, his character, it's just how he carry himself. And I was like, yeah, I'm really proud of you. And then Notre Dame, that's like icing on the cake. It's like, wow. My injury that I was really worried about was my, actually my knee, because um, I felt like I couldn't run for a little minute, but every time when I was in my press stands, or even when I'm in my stands, it always would hurt. And um, it would just be aching, and every time when I push off of it, it just be, just it would just burn, actually. It was just different. One of the things for that high school level, getting ready to go to that, to that next level, especially D1 level, uh, understanding that what you were doing in, in high school is, is not enough for going to the next level. So there's a lot of things that, are, that we've seen in the past with uh, athletes coming into the office. Uh, the biggest thing is the lack of flexibility, uh, the range of motion, just functional wise. Because uh, once you, you know, playing, playing sports, you, you find yourself put in positions to where, you know, you're going to have to run a little bit faster, jump a little bit higher probably going to get hit a little bit harder if you're playing football. So be, having that flexibility, good range of motion uh, with those joints is really going to help to to kind of limit uh, the possibility of injuries and things like that. So one of the things that, that athletes can start doing now is really get on a good stretch routine. Uh, and that's stretching one or two times a day. I mean, serious stretching, not just 15, 20 minutes, but actually spending some time stretching like getting into class like yoga or something like that to really help work on that flexibility. I think another thing to remember is sleep and nutrition, right? Because they know to work out, they know to run, you know, all of those things, but, but how critical sleep and nutrition is because that's your recovery, right? Those are the things that are feeding those muscles, um, you know, feeding your cardiovascular system, getting you stronger and faster is, you know, because our nutrition is about 70% of our health. 
So it's critical. And, and when you sleep and that's when your body rehabs from all the damage you've done to it uh, you know, throughout that day. So I would say sleep and nutrition are probably two things that, that are often overlooked, but you know, critical. My expectation about uh, coming out of Notre Dame and coming into Notre Dame is first, I want to finish my first uh, first semester as a freshman as a with a 3.5 GPA, uh, be freshman All-American, do my best all the time, keep God first, um, like make new achievements, do new things, go to the NFL. Like that's that's my whole dream, first round pick and everything. My faith in everything I do is uh is extremely important because in the Bible it says put every put belief in everything you let you do. That's what God says. And so I do that and I uh, and I mean it. Hi, my name is Monica Campbell, Vice President of Community Development for Enterprise Bank & Trust. Enterprise Bank & Trust guides our clients to a lifetime of financial success and we're dedicated to helping St. Louis communities thrive. One of the programs we're most proud of is our Welcome Home St. Louis Mortgage Down Payment Program. Qualified borrowers are eligible to receive assistance with down payment and closing costs. The subsidy is subject to completion of home buyer education. Visit EnterpriseBank.com or call Community Mortgage Loan Officer Bill Bruce at area code 314-512-7220 for information on how to qualify. Enterprise Bank & Trust is an equal housing lender and member FDIC. Something that sets SEBA apart from other schools is our ability to provide individualized attention to each and every student. I love it, love it. We really embrace our diversity and we just support each other. Everybody fits in at SEBA. A home is an investment for the long term, and your home's foundation is the key to protecting that investment. For wall cracks, settling, water problems, or an unsealed crawl space, call Woods Basement Systems for a solution that delivers comfort and security for years to come. Amanda Luckett Murphy Hope Well Center is a certified community behavioral health organization that has been serving those in North St. Louis City in need of behavioral health and substance use services. We believe in providing compassionate, holistic behavioral health services that emphasize hope, honor, dignity, and respect. If you or your loved ones need support, please contact us at 314-531-1770. Kids like these are happy and healthy because Affinia Healthcare has been their healthcare home, I guess you can say, their entire lives. Our pediatric services range from immunizations and dental care to behavior health and chronic illnesses. At Affinia Healthcare, our patients have peace of mind knowing that they'll get high quality care. Adult services are also available as ensuring a healthy future for all our patients is what inspires us. We change lives at Affinia Healthcare, one patient at a time. Hi, my name is Dr. Xavier Tipler, co-owner at Proficient Chiropractic. Here at Proficient Chiropractic, we have a team of highly trained and professional staff and doctors that are dedicated to ensuring that each and every one of our practice members are receiving the very best in customer service as well as their care. We really specialize in taking care of the nervous system. The nervous system controls every single function of your body. Every single organ and system in your body is controlled through that nervous system. Now when there's stress or pressure on that nervous system, what we call subluxations, our job is to identify those subluxations, remove that stress off your nervous system so that your body is functioning at its best again. Come on down and check us out. We would love to take care of you. We're at 2050 Woodson Road, St. Louis, Missouri, 63114. Welcome back to Winning in Life. And now joining me is Dr. Aaron Shannon. How are you? How are you doing? I'm oh, good, it's good to see you. Good seeing you. You know, in light of what's been going on yeah. in the NFL, you know, with 
Mr. Hamlin, what happened with the Buffalo Bill player, and uh, what was your take when it's hard saying looking at the video, yeah, but just knowing what had transpired on the field, what were your thoughts? Well, I, I think that it's it's an impossible situation, and thank goodness it's a very freak kind of injury, but the trauma of just seeing it, even if you didn't know him, even if you weren't close to him, the, the trauma of seeing how quickly things can turn to life and death, yes. and also knowing what the medics were doing on the field and knowing that the players were watching that, luckily they did kind of try to cover it up, but seeing something like that is traumatic in and of itself, and it can really get you stuck in a place, especially if you've had other trauma in your life, that maybe it reactivated. Yeah, when you talk about uh, traumatic and, and the trauma, yeah. because not even being in the stadium, just sitting at home and was somewhat traumatized, because mm -hmm. could not believe what had transpired. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't so much about a football player, but here's a young man, and we're talking about life or death. Have you noticed in your practice have many, you know, parents or coaches have reached out, have you come speak, you know, to their team or just talk about the mental aspect of what they might be going through? I think that uh, as you get up to the higher levels, you know, even going from high school to collegiate, um, Olympic or pro, mm -hmm. those big jumps um, make you realize more and more how important the mental is. It's really the difference between like, good and Gretzky, right? Mm -hmm. That's the mental. Everybody's got the physical on a certain level, but mental can take you from the top to the bottom like that, just like an injury can. And when you've got a whole society watching something and being traumatized at the same moment, it's gonna bring back other things that like wars and 9-11 mm -hmm. and terrible things that we've all had to witness as a group. But the great thing about it is you can, you don't feel alone in the trauma when you're in the group, but sometimes then when you leave the group and go home, if the thoughts are intruding or going back over and over in your head, then you probably need to call somebody and it might just be talking on the phone. I mean, everybody is gonna react differently. So when you, you mentioned earlier, you said about mental toughness versus mental flexibility. Mm -hmm. And so I know that once you put in all the work, you know, you train, you train, then when it's time to perform on the field, is the one who's the toughest mentally. Because things happen. And, and sometimes when you just set on a, a, a certain regimen and gotta go this way, you have no flexibility in being able to pivot or the weather change, yes. then, you know, some people just fall apart. So how can we help like a younger generation to understand that it's okay to be vulnerable, you know, or help them to get over that hump and not thinking that they're by themselves, mm -hmm. that there is support there. I think that the younger generations are more, more accepting of oh, yes. health and, mm -hmm. and mental wellness and not mental illness. I think that's important. I think we need to normalize it and say, you know, not only is it for people that are having problems, it's for people that want to be their best. You know, I don't think sometimes we understand when we get stuck in a, a state where we're kind of eh, or just numb. Mm -hmm. We need to always check our mental health. I think it should be like your, you know, a pediatrician checkup. I think you should have to go at least once or twice a year. But the more um, stressful and rigorous your, your job or your life is, the more important it is. And like you said, you know, when you get into a regiment and you train, you're training and you're practicing so that when you step on the field and get ready to perform, you don't have to think it's automatic. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing is trauma can be automatic and it can come out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. You have to be ready to recalibrate, yes. right? And there are tools and techniques that we have to do that. And you know, coaches don't have those tools. When I go into you know, a, a football team and am offering my services there, I don't coach them, right. right? That's their job. 
and this guy does this and you catch things and you hit things mm -hmm. and you run and you this is what I do and I can make your life a little easier I can make the coach's life a little easier because where do those guys usually go they go to a coach right or they go to you know something not so good and so I think it really is um, essential and I think in five ten years you're going to see mandatory if you t if you listen to the big stars and anybody that has performed at the top of their game they will tell you about the mental health part oh, of it yes you know yes and you have to there there's no there's no days off mentally <laughs> no if you take one there's another guy waiting to take your place right right but you have to acknowledge when you're not okay yes. it's okay to be not okay right if you're if you're not okay watching that situation something's wrong right right and i think also you know you have to find you find balance share with us where uh, people can reach out and find you if they're having you know, looking for someone to work with, and Dr. Shannon is right here. <laughs> Share with our, our viewers so they'll know. So it's just my name, mm -hmm. uh, www.drerinshannon.com. And really on my page, I have a ton of resources. And so I feel like I need to give people tools that they can have in their toolbox, because yes. you can't treat everybody all the time. No. Um, but there are things that you can do and you can teach your children to do. And this is important. It should be like preparation for being a, a solid person. Hear that, Erin, she has a lot of tools in the toolbox. <laughs> Reach out if you know of anyone that might be struggling or trying to find someone. I wanna thank you for joining us and we'll be right back. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Lakeisha Davis from Amanda Luckett Murphy Hopewell Center and I'd like to share some information with you about stress and its impact on your teens. Most teens experience more stress when they see a situation as dangerous, difficult, or painful, and they don't have the resources to cope. Some of those sources of stress include school, negative thoughts and feelings that they have about themselves, changes in their bodies, issues with peers, even the neighborhood that they live in or their living environment, divorce, loss of loved ones. These are among some things that can affect stress in teens. And excessive stress can lead to physical health issues, anxiety, and high-risk behaviors. When we experience difficult situations, our body goes into fight, flight, or freeze response. Prolonged stress does not allow your body to come down from this heightened response so that we enter the relaxation response. That helps us to calm down. Simple things can help. Creating a better sleep routine, changing eating habits, or even learning relaxation techniques, right? Decreasing negative self-talk and learning practical coping strategies are all tools that can help your teen manage stress. If you need additional support to help your teen with stress, we have some resources for you. Oh, does this hair look like it runs for buses? I bet that hair will run if I treat you to Mickey D's. Yeah, you're right. Now at McDonald's, mix and match your favorite breakfast sandwiches, two for four sixty nine. Ba da ba ba ba. Oh, woohoo! Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Order a melty triple cheeseburger for just two seventy nine at McDonald's. Ba da ba ba ba. Protecting your home's value is so critical when it comes to the foundation of your house. So we do foundation repair work and basement waterproofing because your home's value is so important as your family investment. Hi, I'm Dave with Woods Basement Systems. We've been providing free estimates in the St. Louis market since 1986. When it comes to your basement, if you're noticing cracks in the foundation that are getting larger or leaking water, we can repair that and give you a written transferable warranty for the life of the structure. The water leaks at a basement, typically where the wall and the floor meet underneath the footing. There's three pours of concrete there, and that's where the pressure of the water can come in and leak into your basement. We have a great device that uh, collects that water, leads it to a sump pump, and makes sure the basement stays dry all the time. We would love to give you a free estimate for your home. Again, it's free. We've been doing it since 1986. So call Woods, contact us today, and learn more online at woodsbasementsystems.com. That's woodsbasementsystems.com.
My name is Ryan Wingo. I'm a student athlete at St. Louis University High School. I run track and play football, and I'm a wide receiver for the Junior Bills. My favorite NFL players are Devontae Adams and Jamar Chase. I love their releases, how they get away from defenders, and how they're so great after the catch. My summer regimen consists of practice with my team, seven on sevens, and lifting a lot of weights, and getting stronger, faster, and better for the upcoming football season. Hello everyone, and thank you for coming by the beautiful McDonald's uh, East St. Louis restaurant. Um, we're certainly proud to host this event. And to you, Ryan, congratulations. And thank you for all the hard work, the attention to detail, um, the persistence that you've shown over the years. And this is a gift basket in recognition of that and a $50 gift certificate. Thank you very much. And Ryan, I just want to say thank you for being a part of the JJK Winning in Life and continue to be a great student athlete and continue to set the example. And on behalf of me, myself, SLU High School, I want to say thank you for giving me this um, opportunity. Um, it's a great honor um, to be able to meet, meet um, I guess, the McDonald owner and stuff like that. But also get to see JJK again because I already had like the interviews with her and stuff like that. She's just like a, a great human being to be around. And for me to get this award, just like I was saying, it's a great honor. Oh, does this hair look like it runs for buses? I bet that hair will run if I treat you to Mickey D's. Yeah, you're right. Now at McDonald's, mix and match your favorite breakfast sandwiches, two for four sixty nine. Ba da ba ba ba. Oh, woohoo! Ooh. Mm. Order a melty triple cheeseburger for just two seventy nine at McDonald's. Ba da ba ba ba.